doesn't cover the whole thing, can it cover part of it? I, I don't think it's unreasonable to request a fee if they're going to put us to this extra expense to charge a fee for the expense. I, I think I might be disagreeing with Eric. <laughs> <laughs> For what they do with the cleaning the water and pushing it out into the Columbia, and they have to have a specialized permit from the state. It's a permit that they hold that no other business holds because it's unique to what they do, correct? I don't know their specific permit. I believe that's, I believe that's the, the case because they got this million dollar outfit that they deal with. Right there is a standard. You want a standard of what it looks like to get a complete exemption there's your standard that's created by the state. It gives them the ability to clean the water, push it out into the river. No other business in this community does that. They are completely sustainable. Self-sufficient. Self-sufficient. And I understand the concern with the utility, but again, I go back to my same argument. The same argument is they are not contributing to the stormwater. Therefore, they should not have been brought into the stormwater originally. They are taking the water on their property, cleaning it, pushing it out to the river. No other business in the community is doing that. No other business in the community is pushing it out to the river. Yes. We do have some, though, that don't contribute to the stormwater system. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think that's part of... Yeah, it's via a different treatment system. Obviously, right. what Exterior Wood has in place is an elaborate treatment system based on the type of and a business permit. that they conduct. Mm -hmm. um, but, and maybe Joanne can enhance on it a little bit as far as the um, impact up front or the ability to not pay those fees up front depending on the um, Washubo Crossing, Block 11, <coughs> there's some incentive up front to be able to infiltrate your own stormwater on site, discharge to the ground, which doesn't get into the city stormwater system. Mm -hmm. I mentioned that earlier today. Right. They, um, businesses who do things like that uh, are given incentives and benefits up front. Um, in other words, uh, I, I'm trying to think of an example, but well, Washubo Crossing did. Yeah, also. It hasn't even been recently with the Killian project where the Safeway, Subway, right. uh, All Pride is, that's direct fil infiltration to the ground. So they actually don't come into right. the city stormwater system, which they're pretty significant and ERU. Right. They get credit well. because they handle it on site through the infiltration system <clears throat> and they do it in their landscaping area, then they're, they, <coughs> they save money on, in a different area because that counts towards their landscaping that would be required for the whole site. <clears throat> Sometimes they get, uh, uh, I don't have the book right in front of me, but for instance, uh, Block 11, Mr. Hickey's building, he received lots of uh, credits up front uh, because he had the roof system that went into his landscaping. So there is some benefit to the, to the developer or the commercial business um, that other developments don't get because they handle their stormwater on site. So, I, oh, sorry, I don't want to <clears throat> interrupt. Um, but uh, it, there, there was a good point that was raised earlier uh, that you put it very succinctly, uh, John, regarding um, how much of an impact it is to the city. What's kind of frustrating about this on some level is that um, at some point the decision was made, and I'm not sure at what level it was made, but it seems pretty reasonable, that if we're talking about stormwater, then you talk about the physical condition of the ground and whether water runs off into the stormwater system. So then the city has a responsibility to filter it and change the filters and use vector trucks and whatnot and suck out the sewer system, so on and so forth. So for those, uh, and in the case of exterior woods, they've got a very elaborate system, and I think it's very easy for us to, to look at that, and I would strongly urge us to consider that that standalone system does not impact the city. I mean, they take care of their own stormwater and bring it up to standards, up to the state standards. They've got their own, is it a phase two permit or phase one, or do we? It's an industrial permit. It's standalone for okay. private, private business. Okay, so they've got their own permit, uh, and they are not an impact to the city's stormwater system. 
Um, but the thing that comes to my mind as we we're discussing this is that um, it's easy to look at that business and say um, that they are the exception, but I think from what I'm hearing, there are other businesses that um, do not impact the stormwater system of the city, but because they don't deal with chemicals and large parking lots and whatnot, they may not, um, they may not need much to not impact the city, mm -hmm. but they design it such that they don't impact the city. So here's, here's a broad question for you. And perhaps this is a can of worms, but it's one we have to ask. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that is, if we were to take a look at all of those businesses that completely brought their own stormwater system up to speed and did not impact the city whatsoever, and we took all of their fees off of the books, how much of an impact would that be to how much money is coming into the stormwater utility? There is the question. Yeah. yeah. And there's, that's the magic number. Um, I know when we started the discount process of 50% across the board for anybody that offered up their ecology equivalent facility, there was a lot more facilities out there that were um, in compliance than we anticipated. Um, do you know, RJ, off the top of your head? But I mean, it was seven, 8,000 ERUs uh, additional. I can forward. Uh I can forward you all the email analysis. I can't remember the exact number on the top of my head, but, but I've got track of which businesses are getting the app discount now and what the dollar amount yeah. is that they're bringing into the system. So I think we can drill down closer to the question that you're asking. Joanne? Well, then I'm wondering is this, say council decides to um, give additional credits, or I don't know what, you, what they're called, to all the businesses in town that treat their own stormwater on site. So that would mean to fund the stormwater program, where would that revenue come from? Would it be my, me as a citizen, my rates going up? Mm -hmm. There's got to, well, there's got to be a, a balance um, specifically in between residential and industrial commercial on exactly where is the labor, where's the labor intensity for the actual stormwater utility? Right now, it's a blanket utility that was formed. We don't have Lookout Ridge and Granite Highlands at you know a fifty thousand dollar cost to the city on an annual basis. You know we we have our specific facilities inventory. We know where they're at. Obviously, each treatment's a little bit different. Each industry is a little bit different. Um, obviously, drilling down into those specifics and making it a lot more representative of what we have in place, not only on the industrial and commercial side but on the residential, would be ideal. Uh, obviously, it was bare bones based on uh, keeping the consultant cost down and uh, freeing up staff to do multiple other projects. So, I don't happen to agree with John's assessment that these that for all uh, that the industrial park that those guys are all standalone because if we had curbs and we had dry wells down in the industrial park, you would find their product in that dry well. They cannot possibly keep it all on site. They, they drive the, the rains, run it off into the pavement, the cars, the trucks that come in and out of there would go out into that. And that's, and, and I, I would imagine that on 27th Street or any of those, if you dug into the soil, you would find some of those chemicals in there. So I don't buy in that they're self-sufficient. There is, it's a low impact. I'd go, I'll buy in on that. But there, there is impact.